my name is Jason. Welcome back to Professor Sports Cards. Today, I have a feature story for you. Enjoy. It's showtime. Before you have a meal, I need to set the table. So just give me a moment to set the table. The card market has many different fragments and one of those small subgroups is people that are just obsessed and infatuated and love autograph cards. More commonly vintage and also rookie cards. Not always, but a lot of the time, almost every card we saw there is a rookie and most of them are also vintage. I belong to this group where all these photos came from where cards like this are sold and bought on the daily. That's where I first saw Sean posting about some of his own personal collection and then he clearly had a lot of knowledge and was in the game because he would make posts like this which were very interesting. With Jerry Rice no longer to allow to inscribe cards, Fanatics rule, that makes this card all the more special. Amazing Fanatics has that power. Originally it cracked a PSA 8. I got this card signed at the National last year and couldn't be happier. Love the inscriptions. It was a card I thought about selling, but now I'm not entirely sure I want to move it. Now here's the thing, most people in the card hobby are clueless to this. You don't have an idea, I mean, unless you're spending the big bucks to get them autographed, or... You become the prodigy. I've watched Sean over the past couple years through social media build a business, a respectable, trustworthy, well-run service, and it's been fascinating to watch. Over the last two years, I've been in contact with Sean a couple times, but this time I reached out to find out how he got started and maybe if he could give us a tip. So in just a minute, we'll hear from that, but I want, well, I want to add another layer to our dish here. These autographs are not cheap, okay? So if you look, Larry Bird, the prices are on the right, and for a flat, which would be a card, he's charging $160. However, to get his rookie card signed, you're looking at a 1000 bucks. Now, this is complex also. Larry Bird's not just trying to be greedy. If, you know, if these athletes were to sign these cards for 50 or 100 bucks, it, it makes the card so much more valuable. And so the, someone's get, profiting off the signature quite a bit. And it's also the more you sign, well, then the less valuable your signature or autograph becomes in the long run, like Pete Rose. I hope Sean doesn't mind me calling out the prices. And I'm not calling them out. I'm just informing. And by the way, if you're interested in something like this, please contact Sean because he does a hell of a job. Joe Montana prices, let's take a look, $200 for any card, and you're looking at $900 on his rookie card, and this gets more interesting as we go, so let's keep going. Again, $900 to sign his rookie card, and if it was less, let's say it's $100, bucks. well, the person is profiting off it a ton more. You're going to get more people popping for it. They're going to be more out there in circulation, lowering the value. Now... The value is all over the place. I was shocked when I looked the first one up and it was under $500. So why the hell would it make sense to spend $900 to get the Joe Montana rookie card autograph? Well, here's the deal. It's a dual grade. That's what's happening now. You grade the card, the condition, that gets like a 7, 8, 9, and then you also grade the auto. Well, this card we're looking at here only has the autograph graded and it's graded in a 10 a perfect autograph however this card must be in beat up it must be in bad shape now here's the very next card that sold this sold just a few uh weeks back it's inscribed and because of that it sold for over two thousand dollars we heard sean we read sean earlier's post that the inscriptions aren't allowed by fanatics for jerry rice probably the same thing for joe montana here's joe montana a little inscription it looks like but this is just an authentic grade there's no they didn't grade the autograph there's or they didn't grade the card it just proof that it's authentic autograph by joe montana finally you can't make it up these were the next two sales on july 15th and we can see the top one is a psa 8 with an autograph 10 so that's a great condition card psa 8 the auto graded a 10 and it sold for 1300 dollars. and the card below it sold for about a hundred dollars less and it's the PSA 7 version of the same autograph 10. That's a dual grade. So you can see that it helps to be in the know. It's a little complex and complicated as well. Finally, I just wanted to take a look at a modern day football player. I found prices for $175. Jason Kelsey is signing a card for. 
Now, I want to make it clear. The athlete sets their price for the show or the autograph, what they charge, and then Sean tacks on a small commission or a commission on the autograph on top of it, so he gets a portion for his service and providing the autograph and a great service. I want to point out, this is not easy to do, to get a client base to, to provide excellent quality, to stay organized, to travel, not to mention dealing with premier level athletes on their time and schedule. I was curious, so I asked Sean for this story how old he was. I figured he'd say 21 or 22. I've been following him on social media a couple years, so maybe he started at 19 or 20. And I was blown away when he told me 18 years old. That means Sean did all this hustling and built up this business at just 16 years old and in, in high school. How, why? Let's hear from him. I got into doing paid signings through, first off, I started collecting because my dad used to send fan mail letters to different athletes and he showed me how to do that. And I got into doing that and got some really good successes. And I realized if I sold one of the cards I got and kept one of the ones I got, I could make money and have a good collection at the same time. Um, so in doing that, I realized, well, these guys, that don't sign through the mail probably do signings and a few friends of mine had been posting them and I was really jealous but couldn't afford them at the time so there was a GTSM show in New Jersey and I went to that and I took consignments meaning you would pay me an extra fee I would go through the public line and get your card signed and then I would make a little bit of a commission on top and I did that for a few shows and they saw how much volume I was bringing in and it just made more sense for me to go back room and, you know, without disrupting the line and things like that. And that turned into taking mail order because of the volume I was able to bring in. So it was a mixture of kind of the work to get more items and as well as just, you know, a few years of working, working my way up the totem pole. Um, as far as one tip, when you're choosing to get cards signed, make sure to prep the cards. So white eraser on glossy cards a little bit of pressure not too much because if you damage the surface psa won't grade it um and make sure that your pens are prepped so if you're going paint pen shake them a little bit before the signing dab on a post-it note or something and then make sure when you get up to the table you're gonna dab it again draw little squiggles and make sure the ink is flowing nicely that's the best tips i can do for paint pen um and yeah, the paid signings are a great way to turn your cards into works of art. You know, I've posted a bunch of really cool cards signed in paint pen that that are team color, and those are really, really cool. So, yeah, I mean, it's, it's so much fun working with these athletes, and it's a really cool business. I absolutely love the pairing of the vintage top rookie card alongside the modern reprint refractor number to just 99. This weekend, I'll be completing the Marino pair and later Peyton Manning. Arguably, those four quarterbacks are the greatest all time. Thanks, Sean. Thank you for the trust and kind words. I really appreciate it. Looking forward to working with you. Megatron is my favorite. Very happy with this year's national. We'll read down just a little bit. Went high end on everything and they all come out great. Thanks to Sean. Appreciate your hard work, communication, and strive for excellence. Very happy with the results. Sports cards, trading cards, they have their share of issues and problems, no doubt, 100%. However, I just want to point out that there's also some amazing things and stories when it comes to sports cards. Uh, nostalgia, love, passion, and even people some made some money uh, and call it their life and career in owning card shops or running businesses. That being said, I wanna remind you that if you're watching this, YouTube and a lot of social media is what caught, you know, is what, it's an echo chamber of negativity or drama or sensationalism because that's what gets views. So how much of the hobby that we watch on YouTube is actually the hobby? It's, it's only a tiny percentage and you have to just keep in mind that many of the stories don't shine light on positive things like this because that's not what gets channels views give this video a like thank you for watching check out sean you can find him on facebook and instagram he's got a great business going on you can trust him with your cards if you ever want anything autographed and as always thank you
Thank you for watching and have a great day. What up, everybody? This is Robert Ory, a.k.a. Big Shot Bob, and you're watching Professional Sports Cars. Hey, by the way, go buy my rookie card.